More so than one can have over a Zoom call as we are this evening. So uh, what is necessary for diplomacy is always that face-to-face -face contact. We've had had some European leaders uh, come to Ukraine. We've had uh, ministers from the United States and other places come to Ukraine to have conversations with Zelensky. But beyond having calls or virtual sessions, it's always good to get together uh, in person uh, for them to understand, for them to realize as much as possible what the situation is on the ground directly from the president. And that is the basis for international diplomacy. Well, I get your point about face-to-face -face meetings, but what did he actually get? He got exactly what we've been working on for this entire year, which is step by step inching closer to those promises of weapons systems yet to come, not only the weapon systems that are already set to arrive earlier uh, in, in less than a month's time in Ukraine. That includes from the United States, the Bradley fighting vehicles, and also personally thanking the European leaders for their promise of the Leopard tanks, some of which have already begun slowly arriving, but more and more in the next in the near term. So that when we start talking about, as they surely did today, the promise of uh, fighter jets in the future, Poland and other countries have already said they're willing to do this, that we know that there is a segmented uh, strategy. So first we have the Bradley fighting vehicles, then the M1 Abrams along with the Leopards, and then eventually closing the skies with those F-16s.